Welcome one, welcome all, to my video on fruit into baskets. This is a problem that uh, is a medium level problem and it has a bad description, but I saw some dude doing it on, um, on YouTube and his solution was using extra space using a hash map and you actually don't need a hash map for this. It's a sliding window problem. So, you know, it's this other dude that does lead code. I'm not going to give him any credit. He's a, ahead of me, but he did it worse because you can get this down. He used a linear runtime, linear space. You can get this down to linear runtime, no space. So, you know, you guys know who I'm talking about, but it's all good. Um, I'm not, I'm starting beef in this coding community. So, you know, I'm the best, I'm the best here. I'm the smartest. I'm going to take this thing over. So, um, this is called fruit in the baskets in a row of trees. Uh, the eye tree produces a fruit of type tree of eye. Okay. So we have, uh, an array of trees. Okay. Except it's called tree, even though it should be called trees, I guess. Um, you start at any tree of your choice. You repeatedly form the following steps, perform the following steps. Uh, you have two baskets, apparently. So this description is hard to understand, so I'm going to break this down. You have two baskets, and there's a bunch of trees. At, you can add one piece of fruit from each tree into your basket. So you can, it's like a row of trees, and you can go, you can only go to the right. So we have this array of trees. You know, let's get a long array here, like here, this. These are all the trees. Each of these numbers is a tree. And each number that's different means a different type of fruit. So, you know, you could say three is apples, one is oranges, two is bananas, four is cucumbers. I know cucumbers aren't a fruit, but I like them and they don't grow on trees. I like them. They're going to be tree stuff today. Okay. Now, we can only go to the right. So we can start anywhere and we can only go to the right. And we can, what we're being told here is, we have two baskets, and each basket can only have one type of fruit. So one basket could have all apples or all oranges or all cucumbers or whatever, but it cannot have apples and bananas. It cannot have apples and oranges. It can only have one fruit. So we can only have two types of fruits. So the question is, you know, what is the most amount of fruit that we can carry in our two baskets all together? So in two baskets eh, with... To only two types of fruit so when you break it down the problem's really saying the longest contiguous subarray of only two numbers so you know what i mean so this is only two numbers but once you get to here that's three numbers so you would eliminate the three and then this is two numbers this is two numbers this is still two numbers so there you go you're at five now but we're at three numbers here so you can't do that anymore so you got to eliminate it so you got to go to right here you know what i mean so in that case, it was five. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, you can use a sliding window and you just use maximums, minimums. Some people use a hash map and they keep it size two and the hash map just kind of holds the quantities and stuff like that and you remove and add things to the hash map. No, let me explain this. You are just gonna keep track of a couple of things. So we're gonna keep track of the last fruit and the second last fruit. So we'll say last fruit is equal to negative one at first because there is no last fruit. Um, second last fruit is equal to negative one as well. And then we're going to keep track of last fruit count is equal to zero. And then we're going to keep track of a current max and a max. Okay, there we go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to loop through each of the fruits and the trees. So we're going to say for fruit in tree, even though it's trees, we're going to say, um, what we're going to do is we're going to loop through all of these trees and we're going to see the different types of fruits and we're going to keep a current maximum. We're going to increase our current maximum whenever we only see two fruits, right? So when it's the same two fruits, we're going to keep updating the current maximum until we see a new fruit and then we're going to decrement the current maximum because we have to... And you'll see how we do that, decre uh, decrementing. But we have to, um, you know, the current max represents the longest, uh, the current the current max represents the current, you know, contiguous or subarray of two types of fruit. Once we get to a new, once we see three types of fruit, we're gonna have to change it, like we did in my when I was going over the example. 
we're gonna have to change it so the current max would you know it'd be okay it'd be one then two it's only one type of fruit still three four and the maximum gets updated every time too so the maximum is four and then we see a new fruit okay the maximum stays four but the current maximum has got to go we got to get rid of these threes so the current maximum goes down to two three four five the maximum gets updated to five okay now we see a new number all right we're back to this one two three see a new number back to this one two three so yeah and then you just have the max at the end i think that makes sense i think that's pretty straightforward so let's just um what we're going to be doing at each iteration is always updating the max so we say and that's how most maximum problems work you usually always update them max equals math.max of current max and the max boom and you know then we just have some conditions okay so if the current fruit is equal to last fruit or the current fruit is equal to second last fruit well that's fine that means it's still the same two types of fruit right if the current fruit is three then we only saw threes that's fine if the current fruit is one okay we only saw threes and ones but once it's two then we gotta do something so we just update the current max whenever things are going according to plan otherwise well that's bad otherwise we need this last fruit count and that keeps track of the count of the last number that we saw if we find a new last fruit so if we find a new last fruit then we're going to set that this means we saw a new number else because it's not the last fruit or the second last fruit then we just set current max is equal to the last fruit count because you get rid of the first one right because you know we see three 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 one and then we see a two you get rid of the threes so it becomes last fruit plus one last fruit count plus one boom pretty straightforward i think okay now we do just a couple other things okay well we have to increment the the last fruit count obviously so if fruit is equal to last fruit well then obviously that means that we're seeing the last more than the last fruit so just boom okay otherwise if it's not equal to the last fruit well then last fruit count is going to be equal to one because we're seeing a new last fruit that means it's all getting updated let's do this easier we're seeing a new fruit if fruit's not last fruit count then we see a new fruit then obviously it just goes to one because we only saw one of the new fruit which will be the last fruit and then you just do well if fruit is not equal to last fruit we have to update the fruits so we say second last fruit is equal to last fruit just like a maximum you know second max updated to the max before you update max to the current it's just like all, all those problems this is pretty easy honestly and then last fruit just becomes current fruit boom that's it that's the whole problem you submit and it'll be good if we returned anything and then you return the maximum of all of that i think this is a good job and i think you know you're wrong dude who did this with a hash map on youtube who's not i'm not gonna be named because you know i might call you out in a later video if i see any more trash going on with you but for now it's gonna be fine i'll let this one slide but get your space down bro i'm sorry but you gotta do that now that's pretty much it um pretty easy i think uh you don't need a hash map and uh yeah that's it let me know what you guys think check out my patreon i'm doing the order of the explore page google you know all these big companies names so um let me know what you guys think let me know if you have any questions about this i think it's pretty straightforward so there you go and i will see you guys next time all right see you